Welcome to YouTube Excel magic trick number one. Hey, we're going to look at our second trick. Remember, if you want to get this workbook, click on my channel and click on my college website link and download it. Hey, here's trick number two. We were just looking at this uh, in our first trick. We have a little budget here. Now, I want to do uh, uh, two main things. I want to do some formatting and then show you a chart. Now, look at this. I'm going to highlight using my selection cursor all these numbers, clicking and dragging. And then I want to add a uh, number format with commas and decimals. Control Shift 1 is the keyboard shortcut for comma style. That's this one right here. Boop. Uh, that's either in the ribbon in 2007 or on the formatting toolbar in 2003. Now, I want to show you how to make it a chart. But first, we need to highlight the labels January, February, March, and these net income numbers. Now look, I've just selected three cells with labels. Now I'm going to hold the Control key and then click the actual numbers. That, let me, that lets me highlight non-contiguous cells. That's a fancy word. It really means cells that are not next to each other. Now watch this, the keyboard shortcut to create a default chart. Hold Alt and then hit F1. No way. Hey, that's our default chart. That's a pretty cool trick. Now, a little bit about this chart. Let's go ahead and click on this series. You can click on elements of the chart. And if you hit the Delete key, it'll get rid of it. And I'd like to ha add a label up here. Um, in 2007, you got to go to the Layout ribbon. And then here it says Chart Title. Chart Title, and you click Above chart. And then I'm going to highlight, click and drag, and type net income. Now I'm going to point to the edge, and I'm going to hold my shift key. And when I see that diagonally pointing arrow there, I'm going to click and drag in. Now I have a little chart here. Now what I want to show you, by the way, if you're in 2003, you'd have to highlight that and click the chart wizard button and um, click, because that keyboard shortcut doesn't work in 2003. And then in step one, click column, and then click finish. Actually, in step three, you could add this title here also. Now watch this. The beauty of Excel, again, is that we can change these numbers. Not only is it going to change these numbers, but it'll change the chart. Let's watch this. Let's uh, change this to 0.5. Control Enter. Whoa, everything changed. Let's change it to point. 9-0 and then enter. See how everything changes, the chart and all the numbers. All right, we'll see you next time for the next little YouTube trick.